Hello everyone, in this video I would like to show you supercritical page for verification, uh, 1D supercritical page for verification uh, with the help of matcom. Uh, to start with things, you uh, need to change your current directory to your matcom folder and type matcom in command window, matlab, matcom will pop up with so many other windows. So first you need to <coughs> load your system. Uh, in the matconf window go to select system new now name the system as um, you please remember to put any space in the menu uh, if you've done anything wrong in this uh, in this system window uh, it won't load the system so we will know that uh, there is some problem so write down the equation here um, in the coordinate we as we are doing one d verification so it's only one uh, one coordinate that is x we are taking parameter as r and we are setting symbolically First to three derivatives and other two as numerically. So hit OK. And you can see in the system in the matcon window, supercritical page for verification is loaded. So first you need to set some initial conditions. So to do that, type initial point, go to point. And you can see all are zero. So at t equals to zero, give a random initial condition for x, say 0 0.3, and give a random value of r, say minus 3 so and hit enter to make sure the changes have been accepted by uh, by mat count now come to integrator window and set uh, interval to 100 you can make it thousand you can make it ten thousand will take a bit more time so hit enter and then come to window open you have to open two windows one is numeric window and another one is graphic 2d plot so to, to, to plot a bifurcation diagram, first you need to find a fixed point uh, with those initial conditions I have given in the starter window. To find the fixed point, we will plot the variable, the, uh, the coordinate x with our time, first time width. Uh, so we are putting, uh, uh, putting time in x axis and x in y axis. So hit OK. Now come to layout and go to plotting region. Change the plotting region from minus 30 to plus 30 and holding it to minus 20 to plus 20. It's random, you can set anything. Uh, you can close this window and remember starter window and integrator window never close these windows while doing the process because it will, will affect your process. So we are all set to find the fixed points. So come back to map point window and hit compute forward. You can see we are having a straight line, which is not x is not varying with time, and you have your fixed point that is this in your numeric window. So you have fixed point. To get that point, uh, you see it's been stored in P01. So you have to come to select, come to initial condition, and we are seeing in initial points. Yeah, you have P01 and this is your last point that is that is the point is 8.28 uh, into 10 to the power minus 007 so select it and you see starter window x value is being changed from a, from a random initial condition uh, to this now you have to tell matcon that this is our this is our equilibrium point so come to matcon window type initial point and come to equilibrium and equilibrium you can see r has a radio button click on the radio button because bifurcation diagram we plot it uh, with coordinate and parameter and this is this is okay start a window and come to numeric window go to window layout and here you can find so many things coordinate parameters just come to eigenvalue and hit okay so eigenvalue will be shown in in your numeric window now you can see the eigenvalues so again come back to 2d plots now we need to plot x with r so we need to change the variable on axis so we'll put r in x axis so r in x axis and x is fine in y axis so hit ok the region is fine over here now what we want to do we want to check the bifurcation diagram 
so come back to mat and compute forward as you can see your numeric window your real part of the uh, real part of the eigenvalues are negative so the branch you are seeing in the 2d plot is a stubby branch so it will go on like this okay so it stopped now we need to check the other branch so compute backward so now you see there is a branch point so this branch point is where stability is being exchanged somewhere uh, some in, uh, somewhere in the diagram we will show the total diagram and see here come back to this window and hit resume now you can see again a branch lower lower uh, and the lower part of bt and the, it is it is also having a minus uh, uh, real value of real part of eigen value is less than zero so this branch is also a stable branch so and this part lower part of the uh, lower part of the bp point is been stored in epp2 you can see in the matcon window and the upper part was been stored in epp1 now uh, as you know that there is also a bifurcation uh, at x equals to 0 point that is also x equals to 0 but that is the upper part and there is also a uh, bifurcation along x equals y equals to 0 line so uh, to do that to have that bifurcation diagram we need to change the name of epp1 and epp2 because uh, on the second time what we will do the epp1 and epp2 will be data will be overwritten we don't want that so we will change the name of epp1 and epp2 first so this is okay you can close this diagram to change it first you need to go to uh, that folder where you put uh, those values epp1 and epp2 so the path is cd type systems your your file name that is our directory which you just typed and you can see in the current directory section on the left side epp1 and epp2.mat so first change their name okay so we have changed the name so again come back to your matcon folder so we are again see the current directory we are again in matcon so go to matcon and uh, change the initial condition first so initial point point now as you want the branch along uh, y equals to zero line uh, so what you want to do is set x equals to 0 at t equals to 0 and you can keep r as it is or you can change the value of r it won't affect your uh, your diagram or your fixed point so to have the fixed point you need to open again your graphic window and go to layout change the variable on axis we want time now uh, just just the same process just the previous process what have done so go to compute forward you can see we have a fixed point at x equals to 0 now set the fixed point as go to select initial point it's been stored in p02 please remember so initial point go to p02 at the last point select set this point as equilibrium point now in the starter window check the radio button and come back to your graphic window and variable on axis change the variable on axis as parameter uh, put r in x axis it ok plotting region is fine we don't need to change that so now uh, take a uh, look look at the numeric window and also your graphic plot now compute forward see the branch you are seeing uh, is having a peak branch point now so to resume the calculation now you see the real part of the eigenvalue is greater than zero so the branch here now you are getting is an unstable branch we will go on and 
increasing if you want to check further more that is there any more branch point or limit point in that diagram you can extend the integration by come from compute extend but we want to extend it and come to compute and go backward now you see uh, uh, now you see a branch which is having uh, eigenvalue which is less than zero so this branch you are getting is a stable branch you can stop the computation from stop i'm letting it letting it go okay so uh, so our computations are over now you need to plot the total diagram the previous one you see um, above bp and lower part of the bp and now you have along bp so you need to match those two diagram so to do that first come back to your command window and command window you need to go to the same path i have, I have, I have shown you so that is cd system this it okay now you can see epp1 and epp2 and your previous two epp1 and epp2 being changed to su1 and su2 so first load su1 dot mat now we'll check uh, okay first come back to come to workspace right side of current directory now in the workspace you can see there are so many matrices now there is a matrix called f and there is a matrix at last which is called x in this f matrix you see that i mentioned is 1 into 300 so in this matrix where the eigenvalues are being stored and this matrix x matrix where the r values are being stored the parameter values the second row of the x matrix are having parameter values and this is having one row so this is uh, these are all our eigenvalues so we will check that eigenvalues are positive for which branch and we will check eigenvalues are negative for which branch for which after which we can decide that this branch is stable or not to do i have shown on that uh, diagram but we need to check again and we will plot the total diagram so write call so this is a this is a command i use uh, column equals to one so f matrix all the rows and first column x matrix second row and the first column so you hit enter so you you are seeing a value almost equals to zero so go on checking hit make it 10 so it's negative go on checking make it 30 it's all it's negative make it as we are having 300 columns so we have 300 eigenvalues so i'm checking the last value okay then go on checking so it will always always less than zero so that branch we are we we had is is stable no doubt it's stable so we are plotting that branch so x2 is our parameter value so x2 will be in x-axis and x1 uh, where we are putting our, our eigenvalues so uh, all those uh, second row all column values and first row all column values we are we are plotting so this is our comment so hit enter and you can check your plot the upper half which is stable now load your other s u2 hit tab s just just write the first two word and hit tab you will get the suggestion from matlab and select this now again check from column one is there any change of stability in the system so you can see it's always negative so i'm changing the last value okay it's always negative so again uh, so before plotting the second part uh, just write this hold down we'll hold the previous diagram so now plot the other half and you check it's been changed you can get you have the total total diagram and we have one part with x y equals to zero line so to have that load tab pp1 now any pp1 will again check uh, is there any stability change 
so c first column first value f f uh, first row first column and uh, also x second row first column is having minus 3 this is the eigenvalue first one is your eigenvalue second one is your parameter value so check for 10 that's minus check for 20 it's also minus minus value is decreasing you can just see that so there will be a change somewhere need to find where okay see for 30 we are having a negative eigenvalue and for 40 column 40 we are having a positive eigenvalue so in between there somewhere value is being changed uh, system is crossing the stability zone or your branch point 35 35 is still negative so say 37 see 37 is having zero value so 37 up to 37 the values are all stable and 37 to 300 all values are unstable so we need to plot first up to 37 these are the stable branches up to 37 we plotted see this this is the stable branch and again plot the rest of the part which is which are unstable in the place of end you can write 300 also okay see the right side it's unstable now we have one value left that is equal to 2 load P. we can check again but but in this uh, if you don't check it will be fine because left side is totally uh, totally stable so see it's going on it's always less than zero so I need to plot the last thing take this out and you can see you have your total bifurcation diagram so to make it look like like a bit cool just hold this part this is your unstable branch so unstable branch we, we, we present it as dotted lines so make it dotted make it red and this all branches are stable Bifurcation diagram to see the grid. This type and you have your bifurcation diagram. You can save the file and you can use it later on. Thank you. Thanks a lot for watching.